Okay, now here's what we do. We read the letters. Letter number one begins, Dear Dave, holy crap, Letterman. <laughs> holy crap, of course, is if you're just joining us, it's my little trademark. Oh, it's, you have a trademark. Yeah, it's my yeah. little signature. It's I my, remember that. It's my little hook. You know I what I mean? I remember that, yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. Whenever I, I find something hard to believe, I just, holy crap! <laughs> and it's stuck. It's worked out pretty well, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Like that's it. my little trademark. That's my little signature right there. Mm. What are some other show business signatures, Paul? Uh, oh, Don. Yeah. That was Jack Benny. <laughs> That's right, I guess. I guess in a matter of speaking. That was one. Yeah, hey, sir. Right, Don uh, Wilson and Jack Benny. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. what, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, dear Dave, holy crap, Letterman, do you play any sports? A loyal fan, uh, Tim uh, Harada, 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 Haver, Montana. Uh, you know what uh, I love of those X Games? You folks watch the X Games? Man, I love that. I love the extreme sports. You know, they have, they have the extreme uh, skating and the, the extreme uh, softball and the extreme, you know, bowling and stuff. And so um, I've come up with a little thing. It's called, uh, it's not really a sport, but I'm sure it'll catch on, uh, just like uh, that holy crap thing has caught on. It's in extreme beveraging. And it's what you do is uh, you have a, like a, I have a little beverage in here, and I don't believe there's a man, woman, or child alive today who doesn't enjoy a tasty beverage. This is, this is normal beveraging, just like right here. Okay, all right, now here, here now is extreme beveraging. One, two, three, here we go, extreme. Letter number two, dear Dave, did you give Paul $100 to shave his head? Sincerely, Dwayne Bentz, uh, Rushmore, Minnesota. <laughs> it's funny, Paul was nice enough, and I think it looks great, to shave his head for our thousandth show a couple of months ago. And I don't, I didn't give him money, I never give him money. In fact, it's a little known, uh, I don't think people, re Paul receives no salary, no paycheck. <laughs> No compensation whatsoever. Am I right, Paul? Well, right you are, Dave, but I'll tell you something. You folks at home could make 1998 a record-breaking year here at the Paul Schaefer Pay My Salary Telethon. All right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, gentlemen and ladies. Of course, our goal here is $5,000. And so far, we haven't received any donations. But the night is young, and tonight, I'm telling you, we've got great tote bags and mugs, and we're going to be showing the three tenors in just a second, so <laughs> let's make those phones light up, and uh, there, here's a phone call, right? I'll take this one, Julia. Hi, Paul Schaefer's Pay My Salary Telethon. Would you like to make a pledge? Paul, I'm a big fan. Ah. My family loves your work. Ah, that's so sweet. How, uh, how much would you like to donate tonight? Well, I'm going to send you a check for $10. Great, $10. Well, that's fabulous because I'll have no problem feeding my 11 children with $10. <laughs> Keep it, you tramp. <laughs> it looks, certainly looks like you'll be hitting that goal in no time. We can only hope so, man. Paul really... Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Moore, keep up the good work. We can only hope, man. Thank you. That was our little, uh, was our little telethon skit right there. That's obligatory at some point. <laughs> I thought it went pretty well, didn't you, Paul? What are you going to do? Uh, I know. What are you going to do? I did what I could yeah, do. Yeah, I know. You did everything. That's Don't blame you yourself. <laughs> uh, letter number three. Dear Dave, I was wondering if you ever ate at a restaurant where you were shocked by the amount of the check. Uh, best regards, uh, Don uh, Silvis, uh, Bartlesville, Oklahoma. Uh, you know, I guess in, in its own way, it's a pretty good question. And... Uh, I don't think so. I don't think that I've ever been really shocked by the amount of the check. I was talking to our uh, cue card kid, uh, uh, Tony Big Inc. Mendez. Yeah. Tony, now, you were telling me, you in fact, by all means, remain squatting. Um, I, I... You, you told me that you had been in a restaurant where they brought you the check at the end of your meal and you were stunned. Is that, is that right? Did yeah, that happen? happened to me. Did it happen? Roland, how? Oh. The following comedy piece contains nudity, adult language, and graphic violence. Your discretion is strongly advised. Eighty dollars? You gotta be f***ing kidding me! I don't get that. You get that? 
Well, it's shock humor. Huh? Shock humor. Shock humor. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Tony. I'm not sure I get it, but thanks. People young and old alike seem to enjoy it. Uh, hey, Dave, what do you do with those blue cards on your desk? Uh, what do they actually say? Justin Chan, uh, Westchester, Pennsylvania. The question is, uh, what do those blue cards uh, on your desk actually say? Well, uh, we print uh, some of them. This is like your letter, uh, Justin, is on this uh, blue card. And some of them, for example, tell us uh, who's going to be on the show. And uh, we should have one here uh, that's uh, the uh, top ten list. Oh, damn. What? No. What happened? Gin. Um... <laughs> You don't have the uh, thing, do you? No, I no. don't. No, okay. I'll, I'll be, I'm sorry, I gotta go. I'll be right back. I gotta get the thing with the top ten. Let's listen. This is, uh, this is the top ten list. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll close up the old CBS mailbag. When we come back, we'll read you the old top ten list. Ladies. The list tonight, the category is a little confusing. Top ten things my kitty would say if it could talk. You understand? We're pretending now I have a kitty. Top ten things my kitty. If I had a kitty, this now, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Top, top ten things my kitty would say. I don't, I don't have a kitty, but if I had a kitty, top ten things it would say if it could talk. A talking kitty. A talking kitty. But I don't have one. Right. If I did and it talked, you know, pay there. Here we go, number 10. Get me out of this Princess Leia costume. Number nine. Can't we watch Nightline for a change? Number eight. All I ask is that you refang me and give me five minutes alone with socks. Uh, number seven. When you wear your leather collar, we look like twins. Number six, me, now and forever. Number five, I am not a hand puppet. Number four. <laughs> you understand, I, I don't have a kitty. Uh, number four, you look like something I should be covering with sand. Number three. Please stop suction cupping me to your car window. Number two, you should line my litter box with some of those top ten lists. Ouch. And the number one thing my kitty would say if it could talk, I'm spayed. What's your excuse? Well, there you go.